Hello, this is Gio, and I'm back here with an engineer's scale. Now, I've already made a video uh, of how to use an engineer's scale. It basically is divided into tenths rather than like eighths, sixteenths, thirty twos. But um, I did get a question about using an engineer's scale, and the question was. Well, my scale has a 1 to 200 or 1 to 2 ratio, and so and this particular uh, scale comes into tenths, twenties, forties, sixties, and so they're a little confused. Their scale looked a little different than my scale. Now, fortunate or unfortunate, I live in the United States, and we deal with the English scale, inches, feet, etc. But most of the other uh, parts of the world deal in metrics and uh, actually a lot of people in the US deal in metrics and so dealing with a English scale uh, engineers scale is not always the thing to do sometimes you have to go metric and although metric can be a lot simpler in many ways when it comes to engineer scale I don't know if this is more complicated, but there's an awful lot more scales to deal with. I'm used to just one, one scale with 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s on it. And I think most people in the U.S. use this particular one type of engineer scale. I'm not talking architect scale, I'm talking engineer scale. But here's, here's at least uh, four different types of engineer scale. Now the main way, if you don't know if you have an engineer's uh, or a metric engineer scale or not, just go ahead and measure from the first mark all the way to the end mark. Now if it's 30 centimeters, that's a metric scale. If, if you measure from the first mark here to this mark, and if it's 12 inches or a foot, that's an American or English scale um, engineer's scale or engineer's ruler. So let's take a look at some of these, some of these uh, metric scales. I think the first thing you discover is that you start seeing these ratios. You see uh, 1 to 250 there, 1 to 50, 1 to 1, and 1 to 1,000 there. Now that's a little different than the good old-fashioned American English type where you see you know, 20, 10, 30. You, re you typically don't see a ratio. It's just, you know, you're kind of dividing an inch into 30 segments rather than actually dealing with a ratio. Now I think the first thing you have to do when dealing with a metric uh, ruler is figuring out what these ratios represent. It, it represents something, either a ratio of meters, centimeters, millimeters. Now typically in these uh, metric engineer scale they're either dealing with meters or millimeters. Sometimes they deal with centimeters, but that's uh, not as not as common. So if you just look at this scale, so we're starting at zero and we go all the way up. Let's see if we can see this to 30, and we know that uh, metric scale it has 30 centimeters. So this particular one, if this is at one to 100, so and each one represent a ratio of whatever you're dealing with. And so if that's one centimeter, and we know there's a hundred centimeters in a meter, we could pretty much figure out that this is talking about an actual meter. This ratio is related to meters. So if you're converting one meter to 100 meters, so a one here would be one hundredth of a meter. Um, so, that, so we know we're dealing with meters in this particular scale. And so if we rotate it to 50 here, we get uh, entire, let's see, it goes to 15, uh, the total, and so at 1 50th, uh, so at the 1, there would be essentially 50 of these increments in a meter, so um, that's how you measure that one. Okay, we just got done looking at 1 to 100th in a meter. Now here's 1 to 1, and this one kind of gives you a clue. It says 10 millimeters right here. So you could eat Right, right off the bat, you know if that's a centimeter to this point, and it's saying it's 10 millimeters, we know that there's 10 millimeters in, uh, in a uh, centimeter, and so one to one, that's pretty much just the standard uh, kind of a scale, millimeter scale, centimeter scale, and so at the end you have 300 millimeters. 
or uh, since there's 10 millimeters in a centimeter, uh, that would be 30 centimeters. And so this particular one deals in, uh, is a conversion in, uh, in millimeters rather than meters. We reverse this and we look at the end here. We're dealing with thousands here. Um, so we're looking at 1 to 10. So at, at about a centimeter measurement, from, which is at this point, there's 100 millimeters they're saying. So this is equivalent. So each millimeter in this case is represented, since it's a 1 to 10 ratio, it represents actually 10 millimeters. So this one is to be measured in uh, ratios in millimeters rather than meters. So now these last two are just examples to show you that you could pretty much measure or scale off in any increment you want to. And here, this is kind of a rare one. It's uh, a 1 to 33 and a half. That's the ratio, 33 and a half. So we go all the way to the end, if we could see that, and it, it ends in 10. So each one of these increments, again, this, this would be for a meter, so there would be 33 and a half of these increments in a, an entire meter. We can only go to 10 on this scale, but so that would be one, two, three, and for 33 and a half segments, it'll take you to a meter. This one is at one to 2,050th. So at this uh, point, it's 50, 100, etc. And uh, when you finally get to a meter, you'll get to 2,500. So that's a different ratio. And so you can pretty much find any ratio you want with, re with regards to these metric scales. Now, I'm the first one to admit metrics is better than, than the old English scale. It's a lot better to do math with. You can convert between volumes and, and lengths and, and weights much easier. Temperatures work out a lot better. But heck, I was born in the U.S. and I'm so used to inches and feet, it, it's going to be hard to get out of me. But um, I kind of wish the U.S. would convert, but until they do, I have, I'm going to use this old standard um, English uh, engineer scale. But I do periodically need to use these metric scales. And so uh, if you do, or if you're someplace else other than the U.S., I hope this video helped you in a little bit. So. Again, you deal with ratios, not inches and feet. Thanks. See you next time. Bye-bye.